Active guitars, sometimes called the powered EQs. They all have a little circuit board built into the control area and a pair of 9 volts, you know, 18 volt uh, active circuit. Uh, they all have a center detent uh, tone control that either boosts the treble or cuts uh, or, or boosts bass rather. is you know questionable how useful that is uh, when you're using a front pickup you can brighten it up and, and make it uh, more distinct and they, it allows you to go from crystal clear dirty depending on you have how you have your amp set uh, you can do the crunch uh, type rhythm guitars uh, were pretty premium they had the uh, built-in coil cut and uh, you know phase reverse switches for lots of other different tones built in the guitar I'm holding today is uh, the X150 which is a laminated Phoenix always gets a lot of attention people asking to see a close-up so I thought I'd show her off today uh, it looks like a neck through guitar but it's actually a bolt-on you can see the neck plate and there's the battery cover right there. In fact, you can also see the two screws on the control plate. That's what the circuit board is mounted to. Show you the other four guitars real quick. On the end we've got the X640 base. Uh, it's also got like the center detent, basically the same setup here. The one difference is it's got a, uh, a series parallel switch for the, the dual bass pickups here. Uh, in total disclosure, I guess there is a sixth uh, active because they made a, a later version without the pit guard. I kind of like the placement, <coughs> excuse me, the pit placement of the pickups on the, the earlier one. The, the later one without a pit guard had a, like a jazz bass pick, pickup way back here. I kind of like having the pickup uh, a little bit off the bridge uh, saddles here. Uh, cool little instrument. This guy here I've played in a other video. It's the X250. Uh, it's got four knobs in a row. I like it a lot because it's got a separate bass and treble knob built into it. Uh, it actually listed for a little bit less than the 270, which is this guy right here. I'll show you that one up close because uh, I don't think I ever have. It's got a really pretty ash body. Basically, you can see that uh, grain of the wood go almost all the way around the guitar here. It's got a sandwich body. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up in the video or not. It's got a center piece of maple. You can see that in the uh, 
the belly cut here. That boring piece of light wood there is the the, the core of uh, maple, and then the ashes on the front and back. It's got a smooth heel. Uh, the Printed circuit board is actually kind of mounted into the wood. That's why there's no screw holes here. So if uh, you ever see one of these kind of weird shaped things without holes in it, you know it's a 270. 270 has basically exact setup we were just using with the, the center tone control, the active volume, and the standard volume. Coil cut and phase switches on the bottom. Cool little guitar. And the final guitar, which I just finally got uh, recently, is the X160 in a uh, kind of a brown metallic. This is really the only guitar they ever uh, advertised with this color. So if you see a brown one, you know it's an X160. They're pretty rare. Uh, they have been spotted in graphite, which is kind of a uh, metallic gray color. But this is the, the, the one that they typically uh, advertise the color as. It's got three push poles. That's kind of distinct also. Uh, these knobs are gold. They should be black. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Uh, on the back, how you can spot these, if it's, it's got the, you know, the dual battery control plate in the back. You can also see the two screws that the uh, circuit board would mount to. Cool little axe. And that would do it. Those are the uh, five active electric guitars. Keep the questions coming. Thanks for watching.